Hi, I'm Tony, Explore Crypto channel, and in this video we will be speaking about Libre Patreon, uh, the setup hosted Patreon service for creators and personalities. So this particular video about uh, Libre Patron is based on my previous video about BTC Pay Server. So the requirement for running your own Libre Patron is to have your own uh, BTC Pay Server instance. So I am showing it in my previous video. It's uh, it's very simple. It's like click through. Uh, you don't have to know any programmatic skills. Uh, you don't have to be a coder. You don't have to know how anything works. Uh, just click through the options and uh, basically it will create your own BTC Pay server. So the link to this video will be here and in the, in the description below. Uh, but uh, I ass I'm assuming you already have the, uh, the BTC Pay server set up if you are watching this video. Uh, if not, go back to the previous one. And the second requirement is for you to have uh, your own domain. You can buy your own domain even using like Google domains. Uh, it's very easy. I will be showing it uh, like similarities of it in this video because I also bought my own domain in uh, Google domains. So I'm in my Google domains dashboard and now I want to manage my domain tonysanak.com uh, because we will be setting up our DNS to the BTC Pay server. So I'm going to the tab DNS and on my Luna node, uh, Luna node is the hosting service for my BTC Pay server. I was explaining it in the previous video. I'm copying external IP, which is like 175 uh, and ends at that 17. Uh, now we want to create some kind of link between our, uh, our BTC Pay server, our Luna node and our domain, tonysanek.com. Uh, so I'm creating uh, a custom DNS called Patron with the IP of of this domain. It's the A class uh, subdomain. So the whole domain will be patron.tonysanak.com because Patron is like a subdomain of my main domain, Tony Sanak. Uh, and uh, if it's created uh, now, uh, now I'm showing because uh, I also made a mistake previously using this uh, custom subdomain uh, subdomain option and it uh, wasn't running properly. So uh, if you are going to do it, uh, please use the type A subdomain as I did. Uh, not use the custom Google subdomain uh, system because in some way it uh, it didn't link my DNS properly. So I didn't I, I don't know what happened. I'm not the best at networking, but but yeah, just use the type A uh, subdomain. Uh, and now <laughs> uh, we want to go log in into our Luna node, our BTC Pay server, because we have to set up our uh, Libre Patron. Uh, it's like an add-on to the BTC Pay server. It's, uh, it's additional software on top of it. I already highlighted my IP, so I will be logging using this particular IP, the same IP that I set up DNS with. So uh, now we also need some credentials because we will be logging using SSH. I will show everything on the screen in a second. Don't, uh, uh, don't be scared about the technicalities. So here is my username, it's Ubuntu, and uh, there is password for the first uh, login. Uh, I'll of course uh, cover it because I don't want it to be, to be public in any way. Also, the, the second thing we will need is our uh, it's our subdomain, which is basically the patron.tomisanek.com, the, the string of characters. I will be doing that using custom software, which is called MOBA Xterm. But if you are like Windows user, you can also use Putty or you can log in directly from your terminal if you are Linux or Mac user uh, using command SSH and your address or SSH Ubuntu at your address for this particular uh, example. Uh, so yeah, I'm in my uh, MUPA Xterm. Uh, I will be running a new session. So let's click session, let's use SSH 
and uh, the name of the host of course will be the, the IP address the, the, the IP from DNS and now we will be logging as the user Ubuntu so I'm typing it in Ubuntu and the password is the password that, that is visible on this dashboard of course uh, I'm just copying it and pasting it okay so I'm in and the good standard <laughs> is to create a new password uh, right now. So I will be doing it uh, using uh, command pass uh, wd. And uh, we need to type in old password and uh, new password two times. So I'm doing it for you guys not to log in into my SSH machine because I wouldn't like that. And now we will uh, we will add some comments in the in the terminal. So all the all these comments, uh, everything will be in the description below. So everything is in the description below. Uh, just, uh, just just check it out. So the first command is to uh, log in as the super user. That, uh, that's why we are doing uh, sudo uh, su and dash because we need to log in as. Uh, super user and now we want to go to the catalog so change directory btcp server slash server dash docker uh, now the next command is to export uh, some uh, some settings so we will be doing that in this huge command uh, export bitcoin uh, btcp gen and etc so <laughs> so that's the that's the command now we need to uh, basically assign our host which is the patreon.donisanak.com so this is the website this is the subdomain and domain uh, that we added the dns uh, to in the google uh, domains of course as i said you can do it in any other uh, dns uh, management tool uh, but i'm using google domain so that's why and at the end, I just want to run the uh, BTCP setup uh, shell script. And I will be doing it right now. It, uh, it brings me a bunch of outputs. And basically that's, that's it. That's, uh, that's uh, what I wanted. And we are done. So probably if I will log in into my Libre patron, so patron.donisanak.com right now, I will be able to register as an administrator so basically you have to type in some some username password uh email and we are going to the uh to the admin section in which we will be uh setting up our libre patron so the first step is to la uh, is to basically connect it with our btc pay uh, btc pay server and we need to generate some some key so i already have this field url to btc pay instance uh, pre-populated as we can see uh, the url is the same as my btc pay server and the pairing code we need to get it so at the bottom uh, there is a button you can uh, obtain your code by heading here so I'm clicking uh, clicking here it will bring me to some custom bitspace server setup uh, manage store page and I will create a new token I will call it patron and I only have one store so I will pair it to, to the one store that I created uh, of course approve and at the top there is a there is the id that i want to copy and paste as the pairing code so that's it this is as simple as as that so after submitting we can see that uh, pairing to btc is complete and in btc pay setup we can see that uh, btc pay is currently paired uh, and yeah we can uh, we can basically start accepting invoices from this point of time the next step is to set up the email. Uh, why is that? Because uh, Libre Patron is the service that is very similar to the Patreon, but uh, in Patreon you are just giving out your, uh, your credit card information. So with credit card there is possibility of uh, doing like uh, pull, pull the money requests from, uh, from your account. So the, the server patron can pull uh, your money from like your account if you are if you are a user of it. 
uh, but in terms of Bitcoin, there is no way of pulling uh, Bitcoin out of somebody's account. There is only a way to, to basically initiate uh, uh, transactions by yourself. So if you want to tip somebody else, uh, you have to do it manually every time. So that's why we need to set, set up email because uh, users will be able to uh, to basically log in as with their email address and they will get uh, like monthly noti noti notifications about uh, about the need of paying uh, the, the creator paying some some people so uh, this is the setup right now of course like with uh, with bitcoin it's not as easy as as it should be but i think we are we are getting there but it's still it's still like better than than using some custodial services so uh, so yeah, you can you can set up your email. Uh, personally, I failed this step. I I don't know what I did wrong. I spent like almost a day trying to <laughs> trying to troubleshoot it. Uh, if I if I get any answer how to do it properly, uh, I will get uh, get this uh, information in the next video or create some kind of plugin to this video uh, or post it on my Twitter in like some small tweet, video tweet or something like that. Because probably it's very easy, but. Uh, I think I made a huge mistake with, with this email setup and I just can't use it right now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> other than that, it works. So uh, so my Libre Patreon is set up. So we will be heading to, uh, to the price levels right now because we want to set up some price levels for our users. Like uh, there are some people that want to pay $1 a month. There are some people that want to pay 10 or even $100 per, per month. So I'll be showing that in this particular uh, moment. So yeah, I'm creating four different uh, four different layers of payment, like one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and one hundred dollar. And also in my BTC Pay store, I set up uh, the BTC Pay store in the way that I think it's uh, it's uh, requesting users to pay with Lightning below five dollars worth of transaction. So. Uh, so yeah, I, I will be showing that in a second, but uh, but if the transaction is $5 or less, uh, my personal BTC Pay server is uh, requesting Lightning Network transactions. So uh, let's move to how it uh, looks like. So this is our Libre Patreon. Basically, it's the website in which you can push your, your content. It, you can create your own blog uh, in this particular uh, website. You can basically edit everything using HTML, so Markdown or something like that. Uh, so you can edit the, the homepage, uh, you can add your picture, you can say what are you doing. Like I would say I am a creator and uh, I'm doing videos on YouTube. Uh, in the subscriptions, which is the, the most important uh, part, there is the uh, there are the support levels. So if the user wants to support you, there are those uh, support levels that I was uh, showing you earlier. Uh, so as we can see, one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and one hundred dollar. And I will click it to, to show you the invoice to, to BTC Pay to, to basically <laughs> co confirm that it's it's connected with, um, with BTC Pay server. So as you can see, we've got the invoice, we've got the node info, and yeah, there is a QR code you can copy it. Uh, there is amount in Satoshi's uh, and the pay with uh, Bitcoin Lightning BTC. So it's cool and let's go back and now in the $100 uh, option, there is only a way to pay with Bitcoin because it's a substantial amount. Of course, we can see the, the QR code as well, some more information, transactions, and etc. So, uh, so yeah, there is, there is all this info there from the BTC Pay. But as I said on the homepage, we can edit it, we can add some, some custom text, we can add some graphics. Uh, we can basically customize it in every way. So we can add our own CSS, we can modify this Libre Patron uh, in any way we, we, we basically can. I'm not the front-end person, so <laughs> I won't be playing with that uh, too much. Uh, but yeah, I'm just showing you that uh, that it's possible and you can customize it, you can, uh, you can 
in the update uh, tab you can basically post your own post like uh, every time you are pushing a new video you can add some kind of post uh, post it there uh, maybe some information only for your uh, for your patrons or something like that uh, you guys can can choose whatever you like uh, what however you like to use it and I know it's still like in very I would say in, in beta version but but still it works you can add some, some comment option, you can also connect it to the square which is uh, more like a traditional payment processor and yeah there is there there are all those uh, those possibilities. So I think that's all for today. I hope I explained it very thoroughly. If you have any questions please uh, post them in the comment section below and uh, thanks a lot for Jeff Bandru who helped me with the uh, with the setup tutorial and I had some questions for him but uh, I was very pushy and maybe ask him too many questions but yeah follow him on Twitter I will be posting his uh, his Twitter handle here he created this tool basically by himself based on BTC Pay server so that's really cool for, from him yeah uh, I really like this tool uh, probably in future I will be using it I still think uh, it uh, can be a bit uh, bit more polished on some rough edges but yeah it's uh, it's a very very well designed tool uh, about this email setup I will <laughs> I will get knowledge how to set it up properly and let you guys know because uh, I, I really suck at it right now also I wanted to push this video very hard because it was blocking me with other other tasks so yeah I will I will probably update it with the with the information about the email also, if you are interested in the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, and there is a ton of different patterns, uh, different uh, different Bitcoin related t-shirts on the Layer 1 BTC website. Uh, this is the, the store that I got this t-shirt from and basically I asked the creator to send me some, some test t-shirts and I really like them. I, I asked him about it because I really like the design, I like the, the content of this t-shirt, uh, it's uh, really colorful and and, uh, it looks uh, professional so if you are interested in the description there is link to the store layer 1 BTC and the creator Nick Ward is a huge Bitcoiner Bitcoin maximalist so so also follow him on Twitter if you if you are interested in uh, in this particular stuff and I think that's all for today uh, <laughs> How do you like the video? How do, do you like the, the Libra Patron? Uh, will you support me on my own Libra Patron? Patron.tonysanlag.com uh, I don't know, just, uh, just try it for yourself if you are a content creator, if you are uh, maybe producing some, some things and you want to capitalize on them in some way, uh, create your own Libra Patron and give it a try. And this is not the last video in the series of BTC Pay Server videos. There is also a way, easy way of creating your own, some sort of Kickstarter project uh, also based on the BTC Pay Server. So, uh, so crowd, crowdfunding campaign based on the BTC Pay Server. Uh, I will be showing it in one of the next videos. And also in one of the next videos, I will be showing how to add liquidity to your Lightning Network uh, uh, node because like with BTC Pay Server I already have my own Lightning Network node I'm connected to my hardware wallet and if somebody would like to send me some payment they have to route it in some way to my Lightning Network node but uh, originally like set it, setting it up through BTC Pay you are just creating empty node without any channels any outgoing channels uh, and without any inbound capacity which is needed to to basically have this liquidity coming into your node so uh, i will be showing how to do it in one of the next videos as well uh, it's uh, it's a great uh, piece of advice uh, for everybody running uh, lightning network not only people who run uh, btc pay server if you run any type of node it's a it will be a good piece of advice and okay that's all for today and see you guys in the next video have a great day bye